The Ukrainian alphabet is the set of letters used to write Ukrainian, the official language of Ukraine. It is one of the national variations of the Cyrillic script. The modern Ukrainian alphabet consists of 33 letters. In Ukrainian, it is called, from the initial letters and, or. Archaically, from the acrophonic early Cyrillic letter names and. Ukrainian text is sometimes Romanized, written in the Latin alphabet, for non-Cyrillic readers or transcription systems. See Romanization of Ukrainian for details of specific Romanization systems. There have also been several historical proposals for a native Latin alphabet for Ukrainian, but none have caught on. The alphabet comprises 33 letters, representing 38 phonemes and an additional sign, the apostrophe. Ukrainian orthography is based on the phonemic principle, with one letter generally corresponding to one phoneme. The orthography also has cases in which semantic, historical, and morphological principles are applied. In the Ukrainian alphabet that could also be the last letter in the alphabet. 20 letters represent consonants, 10 vowels, and 2 semivowels. The soft sign has no meaning when written by itself, but when written after a consonant, it indicates that the consonant is soft. Also, alveolar consonants are palatalized when followed by certain vowels, and are softened when they are followed by a soft vowel. See eotation. The apostrophe negates palatalization in places that it would be applied by normal orthographic rules. It also appears after labial consonants in some words, such as name. And it is retained in transliterations from the Latin alphabet, and dot. There are other exceptions to the phonemic principle in the alphabet. Some letters represent two phonemes, slash t slash, slash g slash or slash g slash, and slash j slash, slash ju slash, slash j slash when they do not palatalize a preceding consonant. The digraphs and are normally used to represent single affricates slash dz slash and slash d slash. Palatalization of consonants before, is indicated by writing the corresponding letter, instead. Compared to other Cyrillic alphabets, the modern Ukrainian alphabet is most similar to those of the other East Slavic languages, Belarusian, Russian, and Rusin. It has retained the two early Cyrillic letters and EJ to represent related sound slash I slash and slash slash as well as the two historical forms E and Yi. Unique letters are the following, the apostrophe is similarly used in Belarusian orthography, while the same function is served in Russian by the hard sign, compare Ukrainian and Belarusian versus Russian. The Cyrillic script was a writing system developed in the First Bulgarian Empire in the 10th century, to write the old church Slavonic liturgical language. It was named after St. Cyril, who with his brother Methodius had created the earlier glagolitic Slavonic script. Cyrillic was based on Greek uncial script, and adopted glagolitic letters for some sounds which were absent in Greek, it also had some letters which were only used almost exclusively for Greek words or for their numeric value. The early Cyrillic alphabet was brought to Kievan Rus at the end of the first millennium, along with Christianity in the Old Church Slavonic language. The alphabet was adapted to the local spoken Old East Slavic language, leading to the development of indigenous East Slavic literary language alongside the liturgical use of Church Slavonic. The alphabet changed to keep pace with changes in language, as regional dialects developed into the modern Ukrainian, Belarusian and Russian languages. Spoken Ukrainian has an unbroken history but the literary language has suffered from two major historical fractures. Various reforms of the alphabet by scholars of Church Slavonic, Ruthenian, and Russian languages caused the written and spoken word to diverge by varying amounts. Etymological rules from Greek and South Slavic languages made the orthography imprecise and difficult to master. Melitai Smotritsky's Slavonic grammar of 1619 was very influential on the use of Church Slavonic, and codified the use of the letters, and, Various Russian alphabet reforms were influential as well, especially Peter the Great Civil Script of 1708. It created a new alphabet specifically for non-religious use, and adopted Latin-influenced letter forms for type. The Civil Script eliminated some archaic letters, but reinforced an etymological basis for the alphabet, influencing Mikhailo Maksimovich's 19th-century Galician Maksimovich Kaivka script for Ukrainian. And its descendant, the Pankevishivka, which is still in use, in a slightly modified form, for the Rusin language in Carpathian Ruthenia. Handwritten alphabet for Ukrainian, in one of the 19th century orthographies. From Taras Shevchenko's Bukvar Yuznorskyi, 1861. In reaction to the hard to learn etymological alphabets, several reforms attempted to introduce a phonemic Ukrainian orthography during the 19th century, 
based on the example of Vic Karadzic's Serbian Cyrillic. These included Oleksiy Pavlovsky's 1818 grammar of the Little Russian dialect, Panelayman Kulish's Kulishivka alphabet used in his 1857 notes on Southern Rus and Ramatka, the Drahomanivka alphabet promoted in the 1870s by Mihailo Drahomanov, and Yevhen Zelikivsky's Zelikovka alphabet from his 1886 Little Russian German dictionary, which standardized the letters and a Ukrainian cultural revival of the late 19th and early 20th century stimulated literary and academic activity in both Dnieper Ukraine and Western Ukraine. In Galicia, the Polish-dominated local government tried to introduce a Latin alphabet for Ukrainian, which backfired by prompting a heated war of the alphabets, bringing the issue of orthography into the public eye. The Cyrillic script was favored, but conservative Ukrainian cultural factions opposed publications which promoted a pure Ukrainian orthography. In Dnieper Ukraine, proposed reforms suffered from periodic bans of publication and performance in the Ukrainian language. One such decree was the notorious 1876 EMS Yukas, which banned the Kuleshivka and imposed a Russian orthography until 1905. The Kuleshivka was adopted by Ukrainian publications, only to be banned again from 1914 until after the February Revolution of 1917. The Zelikovka became official in Galicia in 1893, and was adopted by many Eastern Ukrainian publications after the revolution. The People's Republic of Ukraine adopted official Ukrainian orthographies in 1918 and 1919, and Ukrainian publication increased, and then flourished under Skoropadsky's Hetmanate. Under the Bolshevik government of Ukraine, Ukrainian orthographies were confirmed in 1920 and 1921. In 1925, the Ukrainian SSR created a commission for the regulation of orthography. During the period of Ukrainization in Soviet Ukraine, the 1927 International Orthographic Conference was convened in Kharkiv, from May 26 to June 6. At the conference, a standardized Ukrainian orthography and method for transliterating foreign words were established, a compromise between Galician and Soviet proposals. Called the Kharkiv Orthography, or Skripnikivka, after Ukrainian Commissar of Education Mykola Skripink. It was officially recognized by the Council of People's Commissars in 1928, and by the Lviv Shevchenko Scientific Society in 1929, and adopted by the Ukrainian diaspora. The script Nikivka was the first universally adopted native Ukrainian orthography. However, by 1930 Stalin's government started to reverse the Ukrainization policy as part of an effort to centralize power in Moscow. In 1933, the orthographic reforms were abolished, decrees were passed to bring the orthography steadily closer to Russian. His reforms discredited and labeled nationalist deviation, scripting committed suicide rather than face a show trial and execution or deportation. The Ukrainian letter GE, and the phonetic combinations, were eliminated, and Russian etymological forms were reintroduced. An official orthography was published in Kiev in 1936, with revisions in 1945 and 1960. This orthography is sometimes called Postyshevka, after Pavel Postyshev, Stalin's official who oversaw the dismantling of Ukrainization. In the meantime, the script Nikivka continued to be used by Ukrainians in Galicia and the worldwide diaspora. During the period of perestroika in the USSR, a new Ukrainian orthographic commission was created in 1987. A revised orthography was published in 1990, reintroducing the letter GE. It also revised the alphabetical order moving the soft sign from the end of the alphabet, to a position before the letter, which helps sort Ukrainian text together with Belarusian. Transliteration is according to the scholarly transliteration system used in linguistics. For other systems, see Romanization of Ukrainian. Notes, 1. The pronunciation of slash w slash varies depending on context. It is labial before back vowels and labiodental before front vowels. It is also vocalized to u in the syllable coda. Carat 2 GE was officially banned in the Soviet Ukraine from 1933 to 1990. It is missing from some computer character encodings and fonts, such as ISO 8859-5 and MS DOS Cyrillic. Carat 3 The soft sign indicates the softening of the preceding consonant letter. It was at the end of the alphabet before 1990, when the new official orthography changed its position. Carat 4 The apostrophe indicates that the consonant preceding a soft vowel is not palatalized, when it otherwise would be. There are also digraphs which are pronounced as a single sound, which sounds like DG in knowledge, and examples, I, OA. In print, 
several lowercase Cyrillic letters resemble smaller versions of their corresponding uppercase forms. Handwritten Cyrillic cursive letter forms vary somewhat from their corresponding printed counterparts, particularly for the letters, and, unlike Latin script, in lieu of separate Roman and Italic fonts, a Cyrillic typeface has upright and cursive font forms. Several lowercase letters in the cursive printed form bear little resemblance to the corresponding lowercase letters in the upright printed form. More closely resembling the corresponding handwritten lowercase cursive forms instead, particularly for the letters, and quoted text is typically enclosed in unspaced guillemets as in Russian, or in lower and upper quotation marks as in Polish or German. Reference, Bringhurst, Robert. The Elements of Typographic Style, pp. 262-264. Vancouver, Hartley, and Marx. ISBN 0881179133-4. There are various character encodings for representing Ukrainian with computers. ISO 8859-5 encoding is missing the letter. Koi H stands for 8, Code for Information Interchange 8-bit, Ukrainian, analogous to ASCII. Koi 8 U is a Ukrainianized version of Koi 8 R. Windows 1251 works for Ukrainian alphabet, as well as for other Cyrillic alphabets. Ukrainian falls within the Cyrillic and Cyrillic supplementary blocks of Unicode. The characters in the range U plus 0400 U plus 045F are basically the characters from ISO 8859 to 5 moved upward by 864 positions. In the following table, Ukrainian letters have titles indicating their Unicode information in HTML entity. In a visual browser you can hold the mouse pointer over the letter to see this information. Elements in HTML and XML would normally have the Ukrainian language indicated using the IETF language tag UK. Although indicating the writing system is normally not necessary, this can be accomplished by adding a script subtag, for example to distinguish Cyrillic Ukrainian text from Romanized Ukrainian. Thanks for watching.